Barry's debate takeaway number seven. Here's a bit of history for you. The conclusion of President Nixon's days in office were determined after a very damning Watergate tape was released. The evidence was so incriminating that leading Republicans from the House and Senate descended on the Oval Office to meet with Nixon personally, and they insisted that he resign. And if he didn't, they said they would not defend him in case of an impeachment vote. Nixon took their advice and promptly resigned. In spite of almost universal Democrat horror at the lack of Biden proficiency in the debate, and in spite of the public calls for him to be replaced on the ticket, on Friday morning following the debate, the Biden campaign made two startling announcements. First, Biden is not going to withdraw from the November election as a Democrat nominee. And second, that he plans to show up at the second debate. This is probably very good news for the Trump camp. As was demonstrated at the first debate, the more Biden speaks in public in an uncontrolled environment, the more his support erodes. And should the Democrats force Biden out, Trump would be forced to face a much younger, much more energetic adversary. Possible replacements at the top of the ticket include Governor Newsom of California, Governor Hochul of New York, Governor Whitmer of Michigan, and there were even a few calls to draft Hillary Clinton. <laughs>